Dive into the past, into a world divided, a time when the globe was split between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union. This was the Cold War era, a time of intense ideological battle, a fierce contest between capitalism and communism. Picture a world cleaved into Western and Eastern blocs, each side suspicious and wary of the other, each side braced for a war that could annihilate everything. The tension was palpable, the stakes astronomical. The arms race and the space race were the two major confrontations of this time, each a show of might and technological prowess. The arms race, a frantic scramble to amass deadly arsenals, and the space race, a testament to human ambition and ingenuity, both adding fuel to the raging fires of the Cold War. In the midst of this tension, one event brought the world on the brink of a nuclear war, the Cuban Missile Crisis. 1962, an island nation, Cuba, becomes the stage for a potential nuclear catastrophe. This is the year when an American U-2 spy plane soaring high above the Caribbean spotted something that would send shockwaves around the world. Soviet missile bases under construction in Cuba. Imagine the surprise the dread that gripped the White House when they learned that the Soviets, their Cold War adversaries, were positioning nuclear weapons just 90 miles off the coast of Florida. It was a move that directly threatened American national security. President John F. Kennedy was faced with a monumental decision. How could he respond without sparking an all-out nuclear war? After much deliberation, he chose a course of action that was both firm and measured. He decided to establish a naval blockade around Cuba, effectively quarantining the island from receiving any more military supplies from the Soviet Union. Then, in a televised address to the nation, Kennedy revealed the presence of the nuclear weapons in Cuba. He made it clear that any nuclear missile attack from Cuba would be regarded as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States and would be responded to accordingly. The stakes had never been higher. What followed was a tense 13-day standoff between the two superpowers. A series of letters were exchanged between Kennedy and Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. Each letter, each word, had the weight of the world behind it. The entire globe held its breath as the two leaders navigated the treacherous waters of diplomacy and brinkmanship. Finally, after nearly two weeks of high-stakes negotiations, a resolution was reached. The Soviets agreed to dismantle their missile bases in Cuba. In return, the US promised not to invade Cuba and secretly agreed to remove their own missiles from Turkey. The crisis ended with a secret agreement, a deal that averted a nuclear war but changed the world forever. This was the Cuban Missile Crisis. A moment in history that brought humanity closer than it had ever been to the brink of nuclear war. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a turning point in the Cold War. A near miss that left its mark on the world. The immediate aftermath saw the dismantling of the missiles in both Cuba and Turkey. A crucial step towards diffusing the tension. This crisis also led to the establishment of a direct hotline between Washington and Moscow, a significant move towards improving communication and minimizing misunderstandings. Moreover, it marked a shift towards a policy of détente, a period of eased tensions and increased diplomatic efforts. The long-term impact of this crisis was profound. It fundamentally shaped international relations highlighting the need for effective diplomacy and negotiation in times of crisis. It also led to a re-evaluation of nuclear weapons policy, with the world acknowledging the horrifying potential of these weapons. The Cuban Missile Crisis, a chilling reminder of how close the world came to a nuclear war, a stark lesson in diplomacy, negotiation and the terrifying power of nuclear weapons.